do the three. Uh, was it three? Ch- nah, I'm pretty sure it was. Is this chick supposed to be attractive? One. Two, she's 40 pounds too heavy. Yeah. X, Y, Z, something about weight. Uh, I wouldn't listen to her. Like, you just went on a rant. It was like. How do you know that that was him? Though? Because it was his name with a check mark in the chat. Do you recall doing that? I guess so. Well, apparently, this joker went and had liposuction done. Really? Think about the psychology of the insecurity. This guy shames a woman for what he thinks is overweight as a way to project his own insecurities regarding his own weight onto her. Never give in to the temptation of the easy button because the easy button will make you weak. What's going on champions? This is Julian Stout, licensed personal trainer, licensed PE teacher, world record powerlifter, licensed special education teacher. Here to take the fear out of fitness. Guys, you just saw a clip from Mediocre Tutorial and Reviews. Um, I'm going to be quickly talking about this. If you guys want to comment below, feel free to go ahead and click the like and subscribe buttons so that way you can let the algorithm know that you are watching and also that you can get all of my information when I post them. Guys, the one thing I don't like is a hypocrite. But before I even say what I have to say about hypocrites, go ahead and tell me what you guys think. Comment below. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this. Now, as a personal trainer, my job is to help people get in shape. Regardless of whether you think that I just hate obesity and stuff like that. It's not that I don't hate people who are obese. I don't want y'all to ever think that. But in the process, I do hate obesity because of what it does to the human body, what it does to people's psyche, what it does to people's emotions. But lately, um, men have been demanding of women that they look a certain way. Well, that's all well and good that you demand that a woman looks a certain way if you look that way yourself. But the problem is, is that since only 14 to 25% of the the world's population actually exercises regularly, I highly doubt the majority of you guys out here that are watching my channel are actually in shape. And I hope to God that if you are in shape, that you are either working on yourself to get yourself to the best version of yourself that you could possibly get to, or you are not demanding of women to look a certain way that you yourself do not look, all right? Now, I'm not saying that from a standpoint of judgment because in that sense where I'm judging you for that, what I'm saying is is that don't be hypocritical. Don't be unfair to other people who look just like you when in fact, you look like them you know women out here demanding women that are obese demanding that men have a six pack and all this other stuff that's disrespectful because you don't look like him and men who are are demanding that women be size fours and not be you know the size of a running back and all this other stuff that i've heard well let me break it down to you you're no you know athlete yourself and those of you who are athletes do you um this is if this does not apply to you this does not apply to you but what i will say is is that you guys have an opportunity to grow past this start looking at the insides of people looking at the heart of the individual that you're dealing with Yes, there has to be some phys- physical attraction and I'm and I'm totally understanding of that. But you demanding of others what you cannot demand from yourself is what we call hypocrites. So you expect people to work hard and make the money. Well, guess what? You better be working hard and helping them make the money. And this is male or female, right? If you... If you're expecting, you know, everything to have be in its place when you get home, you better make sure you have everything in its place when you're not at home. You better make sure that all of this stuff is going on the way you need it to go on. Now, 
video tutorial reviews i i watch his content regularly i do enjoy his his um content but he's not the individual i'm talking to because i don't want y'all to misconstrue this i'm talking about the individual he was talking about this guy had the nerve to tell this asian lady i don't know her name i don't follow her but that she's 40 pounds overweight and she needs to lose some weight but yet you're getting liposuction which is next tier level of what men don't do you know we go to the gym if we want to make changes to our bodies we don't take the easy way out ladies i strongly advise you don't do the same as well you don't take the easy way out you get your natural bbl you go in the gym you do these squats yes your butt's gonna hurt but you know what it's also gonna do it's going to grow and it's going to round out and when it grows and rounds out whatever little bit of fat layers that you do have over it is going to look even better in your clothes than it looks right now promise it always happens i have yet to train a woman i've yet to train anybody that has done squats and not developed a badonka dog all right one of the things people have to understand is your insecurities and projecting them onto other people is not fair to other people i mean that's like me demanding that my women be tall you know my wife is not taller than me by the way but if i were to demand that a woman be taller than me it'll be hilarious because i'm not tall you know but when i ask my wife to be healthy i try to be healthy i work on my health all the time i eat within the confines of what i need to eat and it is what it is now one of the things that i also wanted to show you was this video here I'm a VIP, I'm a VIP. Now, in that video, what you just saw was a woman who is clearly in an obese state, but she is moving like, like the professional dancer that she is. Now, what I found out was, and I wasn't casting any aspersions or judgment on her when I saw this. I was really, I was amazed and I was quite happy to see that she's out and about and moving. But what I did find out was, is that she is suffering from a disease and she takes medication and that medication is causing her to gain weight and this is part of the reason why i don't like passing judgment on people simply because they don't look like the idealistic nature that i might have in my head if that's the case truth be told i, I don't do that because i know there's 27 different body types that are out there i know how they're supposed to look and when i see people i don't judge them simply because they don't meet the standard because sometimes not meeting the standard is because it is a matter of life and death sometimes you have a genetic disorder that will cause you to basically break down and die if you don't take these medications if you some people have brain disorders some people have um thyroid issues some people literally have hyperlidemia go look that up some people have that and if we are sitting here passing judgment on people simply because they don't look like what we think they should look like this is where i again use the terminology mind your business mind your business it's just that simple you don't have to date them you don't have to go out with them you don't have to look at them every night you don't have to spend time with them you don't have to be intimate with them that is not if that's not your preference that's not your preference but what you should not be doing is demeaning people who you don't prefer let them be found by the people that prefer them now on the flip side the people that prefer them if the people that prefer them they don't prefer they might want to reconsider because 
the people that they prefer may not be the ones that prefer them. Every now and then you might get lucky, but overall, the nature of the matters of the heart or the matters of attraction is simple. You don't want to, you, you attract who you're, you're, you attract what you are, number one. Number two, you trying to portray this, this high level of A, masculinity or B, boss chick energy or whatever it is that y'all do. That's not life. That's not how life works. This is not the way of the world so to speak. And when I mean by the way of the world, I'm not I'm talking about in general. You vibe with people who vibe with you. And if that's not your vibe, my advice to you is change your vibration. Change your energy, change your mindset, change the way you think. Because a lot of you need a lot of help in that department because the way you people think sometimes, man, it drives me up a wall. Now, I'm about to land this plane and I cannot stand somebody who tells you to do one thing, but they do a complete different thing. They tell you, you know, don't date this type of person or don't go out with that man or don't go out with that woman or this, that, the other. And they don't walk in the same walk or they tell you that woman's too fat for me. But they fat. If not fatter than the person that they're demeaning or attempting to demean. Hopefully that that woman has enough self-esteem and um, dignity within herself that she would not let an idiot like him try to make her feel bad. And as a matter of fact, what was so funny about that video, the full video, was she basically checked him she made him feel like garbage. And the best part of it all was he had to leave. Because he couldn't take the heat. Because he couldn't stand on his frame. He couldn't he couldn't stand on what he said. And either leave it at that or apologize. Too big. It was beneath him to do so. But then had the nerve of all things to go get liposuction because you call somebody fat and realize, wait a minute, when I look in the mirror, I don't like what I see. I need to fix this ASAP and I don't have time to work through it. Well, what's worse? Being found out you're fat and you're working through it or being found out you're fat and you went and had cosmetic surgery done? in order to try to mitigate it. This is a man that talks about discipline. This is a man that talks about the hard work. This is a man that tells me other men to push themselves to the limit and you know, be a man and stand up and you know, all this other stuff. When the truth is that he cannot stand the, the intensity of his own heat. He can't even stand the intensity of his own rhetoric. Now, shout out to MTR for calling this dude out because I, I'm, I'm so sick of it. I'm, shout, I'm shouting out MTR on also because uh, my condolences to him and his family. Uh, cancer is an ugly, ugly disease and I've had to witness loved ones go through it and I wish that on no one I wish that on no one there's nobody on this planet I would wish cancer on this is it's it's a horrible horrible disease and I pray we find an opportunity and a way to actually eliminate it from our lexicon maybe treat it like it's like it's acne hopefully in my lifetime at least god bless you all and don't forget to like subscribe share follow me on facebook instagram and on youtube guys have a nice day and be the best you